For there will be a revival and a renewal. There will be a recovery of things that have been lost. For I am going to send the spirit of recovery into this world. And I am going to send it into this nation. And I am going to yell so loudly in some of the ears of politicians that it will blow out the other side and tell the others, move out of my way, says the Lord. For I have young blood rising in the political realm. And I am going to bring them into this realm. And there will be a wise old eagle teach them to fly. There will be a renewal and a recovery of honor and truth and justice in this nation. And they will teach it to the young ones. And the old will scream as their cries die in the past. For no more will corruption be allowed to run its course in this nation. No more will corruption be allowed to shroud a newborn child from the time it draws its first breath. No more will you enslave my people, and I will start and give a great revival among the native people of this nation. I'm going to show a revival and a new song among the tribal nations in this country. For it will rise up, says the Lord, and you will say, oh, it's a chant. No, nay, it's not a chant. It's a song of the Lord coming forth in covenant power. And I am going to restore lands to them. And greedy men will have their fingers pried off of their properties, pried off of their water rights, pried off of them that has held them down. For I am going to create something among the tribes that no government can stop and none can, can belay it. For it will come forth, says the Lord, and it will be a sound in the Midwest like no other sound. For the base, the base of the song will be heard in the Everglades. And it will be heard in Mississippi. And it will be heard in Alabama. And it will be heard through the Carolinas. By the time it reaches the Midwest, the eagle will scream and begin to call out, Freedom! 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 And then look out, says the Lord, for the rest of the nation is in for glory days. The rest of the nation is in for the impact of revival. But woe to those who have rose up and tried to put my people in bondage. And woe to those who are pastoring churches that deny my power and attack my prophets. Woe to those voices who would stand up and try to render my fivefold ministry non-essential to try to chop fingers from my hand. Be very cautious, says the Lord, for your hand may not be there. Great rejoicing is coming to those who uphold righteousness in this country and around the world. For the shot that was heard around the world is not the shot that will ring forever. For I will make a sound that all nations will hear. I will make a sound that the government in China will back up in a jolt. I am going to make a sound in the Mideast. And I will shove that sound down the dragon's throat. Be ready to rejoice. Be ready to dance. For behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, and they're coming very rapidly, very quickly. And those voices that screamed against righteousness on the left and 
those on the right that join themselves to them. Tie yourselves tight and see if you can ride the whirlwind that comes next. And I will raise up a new camp, a new voice, proclaiming a new message. But yea, it's really an old one. God is God. Jesus is King. And we have no King but Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.